All right, batteries. All right, I'm gonna show you guys <coughs> how to get this desktop that I have right here. You see, with all these this desktop with the dock things and all these, I can open any icons in here. Same thing. Get these cool watches. Get this at the bottom. Get my menu to look like this. I know you like this menu. 360 desktop. Get it to switch between desktops. I'll show you right now what it is. This, this does. Alright, so it does this. You see, you can turn it around. Put a different desktop, you know. And it still has everything. All these. And then I can just switch to one desktop. That's why I'm just going to close this for now. Alright, first of all, what you gotta do is you gotta open up your computer. Your Internet Explorer, my bad. So you go to Internet Explorer. <coughs> and then uh, you type in stardoc.com. You see stardoc.com. And then here it says stardoc.com at the beginning. It says right here it says downloads. You go to downloads. It takes a while. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys what to download here. They're all free. But the ob the best things. First of all, download object bar. I already have it, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Just download, see this download at the top here. Click download. Wait a bit for it to download, starts running, right? And then just run, blah blah blah. And it saves wherever you want it to save. And then you go back. It downloads again. And you download Windows blinds. You download Death, Deathscape, Creek Vista, uh, Logon Studio. It changes the logons that you have, like for Vista. Windows Effect FX, Icon X. You download also Sound Packager is good, and Blitzkin's almost good. You once you download all these. Then you go to 360desktop.com. So 360desktop.com, and you download this 360 desktop. And this looks like this. I'll show you. Hold on, just uh, wait for it to load. It looks like this, and you can move around your desktop and stuff like that. And then you can go back, and you can just exit it out here. <coughs> Now you go back to your internet. Oh, sorry, this is out of camera. You go back to your internet and download 360 desktop. Then you go to desk. Desk. Uh, hold on. You go to Google. Oh, hold on. I have it right here. Uh, you go to o t a k u software dot com. And then you go to download. Click here to get desk desk space. It's that cube that I showed you. The 3D cube that I showed you. And you download that, and then from there on, you know, you can figure out how to download it. But then, to get the this toolbar here, you gotta go to RK. Uh, hold on, I gotta show you guys. Go to Cube Desktop. Dot en. Dot com. You also need to download this thing. It's about the same thing as desktop, uh, desk space, but it works faster. But you, and you run them both at the same time, and they work pretty well. Once you download this, you go to google.com, that's here, whatever. And then you t type in R download RK launcher. And I, it's this one right here. And then you download this. And it pops up like a window like this, and you click on it, and it opens it up like this. And and for you to like put stuff in these, you can just drag it in, and it just stops in there. Also, this one at the top is um, Rocket Dock. This is Star Dock. This is an RK Launcher Dock, and this is a uh, Rocket Dock. I'll show you where you get the Rocket Dock. In just a sec. To get the Rocket Dock, you go to Google. Again, Google.com. Go Rocket. Dock download. Uh, download. You 
download Rocket Dock. Uh, you download the latest version, which is uh, version 1.1.35, and just download this. And it, this thing pops up, and it, it doesn't have all these things. I just added these on here. But you go to dock settings, and you can customize your dock, general icons, styles, and stuff. Alright. After you've done that, you gotta go to. I have this something called Alien Goosey. It's the thing to go to Alien. Com. Sorry about this, my computer's a bit slow right now. Or am I not typing? Go to Google faster. Google type in download alien goosey. And then download the Steam Manager. I'll show you when it pops up. You download this. Alright. And once you download it, it'll look like this. I'll show you just a sec. When it pops up on your desktop, it's called Stock My Colors. And you can change your, like, themes. Like, I can change mine to red again. Uh, it's act my computer's acting up. Sorry about this. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wait for it to respond. Just close the program. I'm sorry, I went to the wrong one. My color, my star dog colors is better. It's the same thing as it, it, the Alien Goosey is this here, right here. So you open that up, and I'll show you what happens. All my things are getting moved around here. I don't like this. Oh, my computer doesn't want to open it though. I don't know why. It it it, it should open, but my computer won't open it right now because I'm downloading some other stuff, and it's not opening. But we'll just wait a bit. Here we go. And you can download these where you can get more themes and you can download more themes like pink, this theme and that theme and some other themes right here. And then once you've done all that, you have these, all these things, desktop, you have Death Base, Log On Studio, RK Launcher, Tweak Vista, Tweak Vista, the object doc for this, and then you have more stuff. I'll show you what else I got. Uh, I saved them all in one of my things here. Stardock. I have all these. I have my color. I have desktop gadgets. I have Tweak Vista, Win Windows FX, Sound Packager, Logon Studio. Logon Studio is very actually good. Because when you log on, you can change the color of the thing. Instead of it being plain old Vista thing, you can change it on. Icon Packager and Icon Developer are basically the same thing. You can just, uh, Customize your icons, make them 3D, anything you want. Tweak Vista lets you, like, making computer faster and, like, what programs you want to start up. And this is a keyboard launch pad. It's, like, you can set hotkeys. Like, I set my uh, Shift 1F, Shift 1 2 for my WinApp thing to start up and all these things that I did. And also, the best thing here, I think, is Windows uh, FX. It's amazing. And also, Object Dock is very good. Uh, that's basically it. That's basically what you do. And also, these things I just uh, downloaded, uh, call something uh, Yahoo Widgets. And then you can just download and put them on here. Which makes it look cooler for these two. And for these, if look, if I take this and drag it, it poofs away because uh, it's saying to me that uh, I'm deleting it. I can just add another one in there though, and it's that fast, and I add all these stuff, make it all cool and stuff. Alright, well, that's about it, thanks for talking to me, see you later.